Today we're learning how to make these beautiful charts, but in a nicer way in PowerPoint all the way from scratch. If you want to follow along in the tutorials, these are my color codes that I use. You can pause the video and apply them to your template. Let's start from a blank slide and we're going to insert shapes and then choose the donut shape. Hold shift while you drag it on the screen. That way you create a perfect circle. And then with this yellow handle, you can increase or decrease the width of the circle. Position it on the left side of the slide. We're going to remove outlines and we're going to give this a light fill. Grab the color and you can select the color that you want. Hold control shift and drag it to create a duplicate. Then we go to the shape format tab, edit shape, and we're going to change the shape to the block arc. This gives us a new shape where we can adjust the width of the handle, but also the completion of the circle. We're going to make this one darker. So for this, we're going to use the full color that we want, and we're going to position it on top of the previous circle. There's two yellow handles. We're going to drag the one that controls the width of the circle, and we're going to position it to the top. So it's straight at the top of the circle. With this, you can, with the other handle, you can control how much of the circle gets filled. You can also do it with the other handle, but then it gets a little bit wobbly because you also increase and decrease the width. So we're going to use this one, the outer one to control. For the bottom one, we want to add a little bit of a drop shadow. Right click, shape format, effect tab, shadow, and we're going to use the preset drop shadow to the right. We're going to reduce or increase the transparency so it's less visible. That looks quite good. Now we're going to add a text box below it. And here you can type in your title. I'm just going to use some dummy text. Change the font to Avenir Next or any other font that you want. And we're going for a bold font type. We're going to give this the same color, the purple, as the fill of the bar chart. Position it in the center and slightly below the chart. Now we're going to add an extra text box with some dummy text, some information of the chart. So let's add some text here and reduce the font size to about 12. You can choose whatever alignment you want. I'm going for a justify and then center it so it's a little bit wider than the graph. Grab everything and hold shift while you move it upward. Next, we want to add some text to the circle. So for that, we're going to copy this text box and let's type in a percentage, maybe 33%. Select the text and increase the size to, let's say about 44 and then place it in the middle. Here you can see it's quite large, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to decrease the font size of the percentage to about 20. And then you can choose the size of the rest. I'm also going to make this one type heavier and then maybe reduce it a little bit and then center it in the middle until it feels about right. And this looks quite good. The contrast on the slide is quite harsh. So I'm going to right click format background and I'm going to make it light gray. Now we can select everything on the slide, hold control shift and create a copy, center it in the middle and then do that once more to create a third variant. And now we want to change the color. So right click format shape, open the format tab, and now we're going to change the fill colors. So for the bar, we want to make it the darkest color or the brighter color, Let's make this green. And then for the bottom circle, we want to go for a lighter type of that same. So in this case, our green is going to be the lighter. For of course, we have to modify the amounts and then also change the text colors. Make this red, make this green. Oh, it was the darker one. And then of course this one as well. And now let's change the numbers. Let's type in 42 and then a larger one, maybe 83. 42, that means about here. 33 is going to be a bit less, more like here. And then 83 is going to be all the way up here. Now, if you want to highlight some other words in the text, then you can easily use this little trick. So let's say we want to highlight this word in your text. You can give it the purple color, but to make it jump out a little bit more in the Avenir Next font, you can easily go for a bold or a demi bold font. And you could do the same for the red. If you want to make an extra word jump out, instead of just making it bold, give it a bolder font type. And this way it instantly pops out a little bit more. 
Let's do the same for the green and then make it demi bold as well. Now let's create the title slide and a nice animation for everything to come in. And for that, we're going to duplicate the slide. So right click, duplicate, hold control, scroll backwards to zoom out. And then we're going to select everything at once and drag it down on the slide. And then grab the last one. We're going to space them out a little bit. And also for the text, this will give an extra nice effect with the morph transition. So we're going to space everything out, drag it down. That way everything flies in at a different speed. And if we now apply the morph transition, go to transitions and morph, you can see everything flies in nicely. Now let's add the finishing touch and that is the title. So go to insert text box. Let's make this select everything. Let's make it red. Avenue next. And let's make this heavy. Increase the font size. Let's try 75. A bit more. Put it in the middle. And then create another text box for a subtitle. Put it in a nicer way. And then also give that the correct font. We're going to make this ultra light. That way it stands out nicely against the title. And then we can position it below. Maybe this can even be italic. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Select both the title and the subtitle, Control C, go to the second slide, paste it, and drag it outside of the slide. This way the more transition will again do its thing. And now let's preview. And now you know how to make these beautiful charts, but in a nicer way for your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, watch the video on the screen right now.